19th of December 2016. Today is Tuesday. Okay, uh, this is a case of the cat that cannot pee. Now, normally, this is a very common problem in male neutered cats in Singapore. And uh, this is a veterinary educational video to show one case. Now, this cat is a male neutered cat, 70 years old. Tujo? Uh, 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 the complaint is that he cannot pee for four days. So now I'm weighing the cat first. I'm weighing the cat. I weigh the cat first. So I'll, I'll, I'll put it zero first. Put it zero. Okay, then I'll weigh the cat. So roughly it's 3.81. 3.81 gram up. 3.81 grams, I put it back first. Then I put it down. 3.1 grams, then I take temperature. This is the procedure. So you take temperature. And uh, we know that the problem is a very common problem. This cat lives in the Ampak kitchen. So so it stays in the five five cat household or four cat household. Now the problem we're living in uh, in the multiple cat household is that the cat may have Personality problems, relationship problems. Five. Five, five cat household. So cats, they have a uh, personality, different personalities. So there's one one uh, factor causing this uh, urinary retention. So one factor is uh, too many cats. So they don't have enough litter box. Robert, catching the box, Robert. Oh, uh, uh, so if there's never enough litter box, sirs, then the the cat, the milk, this milk cat will not go there. So he holds the bladder, holds the urine in the bladder, and then uh, becomes infected because if the cat doesn't pee regularly, even in human beings too, then the bladder becomes infected because the urine is stagnant. Dalam uh, four day, ada tak ada kencing. Dia pergi pergi dekat itu box ada tak pergi urine. Berapa boxes? Rumah berapa boxes? Oh, tempat dia. No, down there. Berapa boxes kencing? Berapa? Tempat dia ada berapa? Ah, down there, down there. Berapa? Ada berapa? Eh? Ini. Ah, ini ini ini. So, uh, so for us, suspect it's not enough little boxes, and uh, so in in many cases, some cats which are bullied, like probably this cat, and uh, he wouldn't go and pee, so. The urine gets the help back in the bladder for a long time. So now I will just go into the examination. Just one person is wearing this one. 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 Has its own little box. The other cats, other toilet. Ah, the other three or four cats go to the toilet floor. Okay, so now I will check the temperature first. I will pay them first. Okay, pay them first. Takut gigit lah. Ini ada gigit. Let's take temperature first. Boleh makan? Ah, dia makan pun tak mau. Ah, tak boleh. Makan. Makan boleh tak boleh. So ask whether the cat is eating. Because the, the owner actually is a wheelchair bound, so she, she cannot come in now. You can see it at a glance that the temperature is shut up to 40.2. Now, normally the temperature should be 38 to 39.5. 40.2 definitely is high, and the, the, there is a, a fever. Okay, now we take it out. And so now I'm doing the examination, starting with. Okay. Nanti cakap dia punya anak yang kasih dia makan dia nampak minum air saja. 
Tengok mata dia nampak dia minum Boleh makan? Uh, makan dia punya aunty tu cakap dia tak, tak tengok dia makan Oh, I didn't see the cat eating, okay uh. Oh, you can see the make of my brain first He doesn't like it, okay, oh, but he's, he's dehydrated mm. He's growling away, so he's not happy Okay, now you can see that uh, this is dehydration You can see that the skin is uh, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, not, not, not falling back normally, so it's dehydrated. Now let me check the, the lungs and the heart first. So have a quick check. Heart is okay. Lungs okay. Abdominal. Intestinal sounds. The chip what sound? Not much. Boleh berak? Tak boleh. Kena. Uh, berak tak uh, tak boleh. Uh, tu pas kencing pun tak boleh. Kena pee and poo. Okay. Hmm. Now I do the abdominal palpation. Now definitely there's a distended bladder about the size of an uh, orange. Uh, and uh, we can even see from here you can see that uh, the cat has been trying to pee but can't or sometimes there's an erythral plug so if you massage the plug and then and if you solve the problem then that is the best sometimes you, you just massage the plug and then uh, okay so so this is the diagnosis is uh, Either FUS, which is feline urological syndrome, or FLUTD, feline lower urinary tract disease. So this is a very common thing. So now you will, now you will uh, put the cat, catheterize it, and let the urine come out, and then irrigate the bladder to flush out all the sand and soil. This is the cheapest method. Then uh, we put it here for two days, and. Uh, of course, blood tests and x-rays um, are ideal, but uh, sometimes due to economic reasons, we, we uh, do not do it. So this cat is a very fussy cat according to the owner. He has his own little box, where the other four cats have go to the toilet floor. Now what happened was, three months ago, the complaint from the public, because he goes down, up and down, so they, they stop him from going down and he has to stay indoors. So he stays indoors and uh, that's how he got this problem. Before that, he past seven years he never had this problem. So now we are trying to massage out the plug if possible. If not, then we have to catheterize under anesthesia because he's feeling very angry. So I put under anesthesia too percent isoflurane plus oxygen so you try first to massage out the plug normally there's a urethra plug here yeah. and uh, this urethra plug if you can loosen it and then at the same time express the the bladder you can feel, you can see a big big swelling here there it's not very big but compared to you can see it there there's a swelling and uh, x-rays and blood test so we will do that if not then we catheterize it yeah. okay so we we'll pass the catheter in and uh, we use some saline to flush out the, the blockage earlier on so that uh, so we collect the urine for analysis we, we just collect some urine see what, what type of crystal is so we don't we, uh, we, we get a container and after that, you irrigate the... Okay, we always call it urine for analysis. There seems a good news, there's no blood, or no obvious blood. Then do the deep stick test, but check for the crystals. Yeah. Okay. Now the, the cat is uh, at 0.5% more than enough. It's very weak and uh, not been eating for four days. Now, according to the owner, 
because of public complaint, he wasn't allowed to go downstairs for the last three months. So normally he goes downstairs and pee and poo. But at home, he's very fussy. He needs his own little box with sand compared to the other four cats. The other four cats just go to the floor of the bathroom and, and that's it. Yeah. So you see that uh, this is a very uh, clean cat. For some reason, I don't know whether they changed the litter or not, the sand or not. If they didn't change the sand, he might have not gone to the sand, the little box. So now we check for the pH. Huh? pH of this, later we check the pH. And you can see the color of the urine is good. Just four days only. So you can see it's dehydrated. Oh, so much urine coming out. Which I'm surprised. Yeah. Can it be come up by, by expressing? Expressing so that you try to express the sand out also. See any stones on it, you can feel it there. Yeah. At the same time, we feel if there's stone, big stones, you can feel it. If that don't have, then oh, it, yeah, it seems the, the, the flow is not so uh, strong as it is. Mm. Sorry? 100 mil. Yeah, I'm surprised. Yeah, there's so much urine. Now, we did a deep stick test, and this thing shows that there's no blood. And uh, it's alkaline urine, pH uh, about 7, 7 to 8. And there is protein, you can see by the green, there is protein, protein inside. There is no, no glucose. This is, there is no, uh, no blood because it's not green. It's yellow, yellow. Now let me see yellow. There's no. Uh, maybe there's some s little, bit, not not a lot of blood. Definitely no hemoglobin. And uh, leukocytes eh? also also clear. Now the cat has a fever though, so that is the thing. Protein definitely there is. Protein is uh, one this plus. One I flush in hmm. sandy. Sandy, yeah, yeah, that's right. So this is very common, uh, the sand, urinary sand. Now we can feel for the stone, any stones you can feel. So so there should be no stones, no big stones. Uh. So we will irrigate with normal saline for about maybe 500 ml or 300 ml to irrigate the sand and pass, let it pass out. No. So there's surprisingly no blood because it's early. Owner came early. Not wait until, uh, but it's only four days actually, it's not early. But there's fever. And uh, at 0 0.5, seems to be okay. So we, the cat might be waking up. Now let me check the, the gums. You can see he's got ulcers as well. That's why he didn't allow me to open his mouth. Now this could be gum ulcers. Seven years old male neuter cat is it's very good uh, condition and it's a very clean cat. There is nothing really, uh, just a small. Now you can see the bladder, it's a small small bladder here because we irrigate. Uh, irrigate through the catheter, of course. You cannot do without the catheter. This is a very common condition in cats, so it's likely to be FLUTD where there is no infection and blood or FUS they call it uh, due to stress. Now FUS now you see the nitrite there isn't any as so well. Leukocytes. Leukocytes is here, you don't see any any ping uh, there's no so a simple dip dipstick test will be more useful than uh, anything else. Uh. The only thing I can confirm is the pH is probably 7, 7 to about 7, the green huh? pH about 7 to 8. So the alkaline urine and uh, science diet CD would would, uh, would acidify the urine and prevent occurrence of this problem. Okay, now we are cleaning up the bladder. Now it's less 
cloudy mm. and uh, SG now SG I will put it as uh, 1.020 1.020 overall the important thing is there is no blood this one is negative yellow you can see here eh? yellow yellow without spots it's plain yellow which I'm rather surprised yeah. maybe there's some small amount of blood I think the cat can pee but it's just that according to the owner it goes in and out the little box so it just pee but with difficulty yeah. so chances are good provided it changes its diet to the acidifying diet either Hughes CD or Croy K9 we will try to flush out all the, all the sand and suck out all the sand and uh, from what I can see is uh, there is no big stones there no big stones you see in fact bladder is practically empty now so we don't need to put in the indwelling catheter in this case here see nothing really how many cc did we? So make it hard. Try to pull and then flush mm -hmm. well for you, well for you. Hmm? 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 And make it 100cc better. Yeah. So it's one of those good news that uh, he's, he's not uh, having full reddish blood like other cats. Full of blood. Uh. And uh, you can see the only thing was his penis was inflamed. You can see uh, this inflammation, but uh, this is not uh, as serious as those with blood in the bladder, urine. So now it's 238, we should be finishing soon and then give the saline, prevent dehydration. Now, obviously, we, we, we don't have the budget for taking blood and x-rays but uh, we will observe and see how it goes tomorrow this is about the cheapest way to manage this case financially and uh, professionally so we noticed there's a urethra plug at the band so I suggested using the IV catheter which we are using now to push True, because IV catheter is bigger than the in diameter than the cat catheter, and now you can see that urine really shoot out like this. Is it? Just now we use this, which is the standard cat catheter. Compare compare the two. When we compare the two, definitely the cat catheter is half or one third the diameter. So now, of course, good news is that you see that the, the urine come out shooting out like this. We are very uh, happy for the cat also and I hope my assistant learned something new that uh, you can use the, the, the IV drip catheter instead of thinking only of the cat. Of course, ideally you should use the cat one but you need a bigger bigger diameter. So once this, this urine can shoot out like this, I was quite confident that uh, quite confident that I don't need to suture the catheter in and let him suffer, in fact. Uh, so, so we will flush one more time and then uh, uh, you can see how strong the urine is here. Yeah. I can't believe it. Now the, the, the plug was there, she showed me just now. It's sort of like a 6mm whitish uh, rod of uh it's in a, hmm? yeah yeah of rod yeah uh, no just on the plug the plug was like a, ah, there 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 ah, wait let me focus it this is the one causing the trouble for the cat the poor cat yeah. so we used the IV catheter to dislodge it or, or, or it went into the IV catheter yeah inside it, it went in the IV catheter because the cat catheter was too uh, too uh, narrow it couldn't get in so so it's thank God for this uh, IV catheter. What size is this IV catheter? 22. 22. The smaller one is 23. 24. 
24. So 22 will do. Now I will suspect the cat character is what, what is the size? The cat character is uh, they, they, they have different sizes, but definitely there's no uh, no uh, I would say the cat character might be 20. I will get this 21. I will get this 20. No, no, this one is what 24. I think it is 22, so the cat one would be probably 24 uh, because it's uh, definitely thinner, you can see. Uh. So you can see now the urine is shooting out Still freely, sand. full of sand. Uh. So we we'll irrigate one more time so that tomorrow we don't have to do anything and the cat can pee and go home. So the cat can insert quite easily in. Now we will put another 100 ml and uh, any plugs there should be should be okay now. After that, we put the cat catheter in to uh, to see whether there's any obstruction in the in the uterus trough. Then, if there's no obstruction, then uh, of course that's the best. Then. So we we suck out more normal saline. This is 20 ml. 20. The cat is under gas so that there is no uh, pain for her for him. This is about about uh, 0 0.5 percent maintenance. Yeah? Now this cannot be eating for maybe three days or four days, so it's best not to put too too deep. Yeah? Now we have passed the traditional cake editor in, which is of the finer diameter. There's no problem. So now we. We uh, irrigate the bladder again, break, breaking down all the urethral plugs inside the bladder because the urethral itself is okay. You can see the dripping of the urine. You see there, much faster than early on. Early on was very uh, early on was one drop, very very little drop, small amount. Now you can see it's dripping out. Uh. And so now we pull out a bit, see whether there's any. Uh, any uh, obstruction? No, no obstruction. No okay. Okay. No okay. So now we just huh? is it sw swollen? Yes. Okay. So you just express out the urine, and it should shoot out very forcefully, very naturally, which is what the cat does when it's normal. Yeah. You can see any plug now. You can see any any sand. And you can see the shooting out is quite quite strong. No sand. Any more sand particles inside? Yeah, still have. Still have, huh? So we try to get out as much as possible because otherwise your sediment it will, it will form again. Yeah, you can see. You can see some of the particles in the inside the saline. There you see. Quite a lot. Those are not bubbles, you know. Those are those are really the urethra sands. You see, quite a lot. No? Wow, still a lot. No? So the bladder must be full, full of it. No? That's why they cause the plugs to to uh, to accumulate and then uh, cause obstruction no? after four days. So the cat goes in and out of the little box and uh, couldn't uh, pee because there are too many plugs in the urethra yeah. so these are good examples of the real plugs you can see there or the sand they call it uh, from inside the bladder there's a few thousand